Merry Christ is coming Christmas. In the first month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me excuses about Hawaii. In the second month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me massive sports rods with some nice color coded spreadsheets. In the third month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me bespoke arrangements, quarantine failures, and the passengers spreading disease. In the fourth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me aged care demands, open up, no COVID plan, and a multi-million dollar turkey. In the fifth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me 5G protest. It's a free country, three-step path, 60 billion bucks, biggest era in Aussie history. In the sixth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me no Black Lives Rally, 5G was different. Somehow. Mockery of Vic, branch stacking, Instagram food pick, and Australia had no slavery. Samosa. In the seventh month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me Parliament cancelled, no online option, big victory. Family holiday, not full time, cuts to job seeker, and a sharks game without family. In the eighth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me aged care denial, branch stacking liberal Sri Lankan curry, big vaccine deal. Letter of intent, not a deal, something to announce, and the vax will be mandatory. And the vax will be voluntary. In the ninth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me stranded Aussies pledge land for the airport. More risky lending lies about unions. No time for ICAC. Backyard cubby house photo up zero carbon dodge and a gas fired recovery. In the tenth month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me Still stranded Aussies cut, audit funding, treasurer whinging cut Homeless spending, Queensland campaigning, no time for ICAC Photo in a tank, Facebook pic, backyard chicken coop And a budget with record secrecy in the eleventh month of Scott's mess, the PM gave to me Robo debt payout, more sloganeering, private jet for Corman, no information, war crimes, tweet anger, strong words with China, no time for ICAC. Home photographer, bar class pics, war memorial, but no flag during night dark week. In the twelfth month of shit fest, the PM gave to me Trade war with China, failure on climate, workers' rights weaker Still stranded Aussies, kids in detention, banks with less ethics, cabinet reshuffle No time for ICAC More cheesy pics, time for break, stockings full of coal And a dingbat in Kirribilli and Hawaii trip anniversary. Ho ho ho, bless Prime Minister. <laughs>